All right. I'm going to do the first half of the video now. I'm going to be getting rid of this. This thing. Because it's awful. It makes my car look like a toy car. So, yeah. I got a 6-inch stubby. So it should go up to about there. Um, yeah, I, I just really cannot stand the classic uh, antenna. It's not the facelift one, so it didn't come with the power antenna, which, you know, it's, it's not right. I mean, I actually kind of prefer it didn't, so I can change it out now. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay. I don't remember what brand this is from, and I don't think they say either. It's just kind of the eBay special, because that's literally where I got this from. Um, so it looks like it's going to come with 6-inch stubby and some adapter screws. Uh, about like that. Looks like it is a bigger thread pitch right here and a smaller thread pitch on that side so i'm assuming this is just kind of like a universal kit um oh no it's because the thread pitch on the inside of this comes out literally nowhere am i safe from cars driving by yeah okay so That's your difference right there. So, normally, as you can see, the grommet down here is cracked. That's why it's going to be a two-part video, because this is actually going to come off. I had to order a new one. Bro, it's 2022. Who the hell is still blasting Usher at, like, 5.45 p.m.? Anyways, so we're just going to go ahead and... Oh, not break it. Unscrew it. In the bottom. Wow, this this is not held in by much. I'll let you know right now. And the antenna is bent to hell. I can feel that while I'm twisting it. Hold on one second. Okay, so with the mount now, you can kind of see a little bit. Um, it's actually more on par with the one that I just took out of the antenna. So it's got a, a bigger thread pitch up top with a longer, smaller thread pitch at the bottom. It's kind of hard to tell with the light. Um, so this one came stock in the antenna. I'm assuming this is for another car kit, maybe like a Miata or something. Um, so yeah, that's what comes in it is what's gonna go back in. Okay, so now that we have that end on, we're gonna go ahead, Jesus, mosquitoes everywhere, and screw right into place. Oh my god, that grommet needs to go, but overall that looks like a million times better. Doesn't look like a RC car anymore. I wish it was a little bit shorter, but I'm not going to go too crazy because that is already a huge improvement. So this is actually going to stay on for now, but I will take it off and show you how to install the grommet when that comes in. Uh, so, realistically, I won't be seeing that part till a week from now, but you guys will be seeing it right now. Alright. It's here. Let's see if we can get into it. Um, I'll refilm when it's open. Stay there. Okay. Um, so... The grommet that wasn't supposed to be here till next week. It's here. So I think it's ridiculous, dude. It's gonna be like 50 bucks to eBay. eBay. Okay. Perfect. I will keep that. We Yeah, God. Oh, this is a bad time to film. There she blows. So let's open her up. I'd like to keep the uh, part number in case I need it again. This is great angles you're getting me from. 
Oh my god, yeah. Look at that. That's like one solid piece now compared to. Oh, this is cracked. I could literally just like peel this apart with my finger. So. Don't mind me, I have mechanic hands. Take our antenna off. Oh, this is actually, this might be problematic. Okay, let me get back to you. All right, so this is the update so far. It's not, not cooperating. That's all the pieces of it. So, uh, I'm gonna continue struggling. Okay. So, got the grommet out. Um, unfortunately, it fell down in there, which you need to remove the fender liner to get to. Um, it's no big deal. I have to clean this drain out anyways. Uh, I'll be doing that in an upcoming video, so I will show you how to do that. But from then, until then, we're just going to go ahead. Oh. See if we can get this on there. I mean, realistically, it should just slide on there. Like so. Yes, yeah, so you have to twist it a little bit to get it to go on. So when cars everywhere. So, anyways, once you twist it to get it on there, it should fit right in. You can screw in your new antenna. And boom, no more cracks, looks nice and good. You get rid of that, you're good to go. I think it helps a lot with reducing the whole toy car look of the car. Um, and it was a kind of a big sore thumb too. There's obviously some cosmetic damage on this car, such as paint chips on the front hood. Uh, there's some scratches, clear coat missing. All stuff that sticks out like sore thumbs, but this one was just like the worst. It was like noticeable for some reason because the antenna was so tall, it was like an, it would draw your eye to it, and you look down at it, and it's just like cracked in pieces. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that is that. Another car coming. So yeah. This is just your average 6-inch stubby antenna I got off eBay. And this grommet I got from... Hold on one second. Uh, McGeorge Toyota Online Parts. So, that's where I got everything. And, yeah, I highly recommend. It looks good and it goes in easy. So, thanks.